the horses untethered? Think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this blocking the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently. Picks up a new team of guards at the state line, ah, so... Shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. Uh, you drive a wagon before? See? This is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha <laughs> oh, ha You're a funny fella, John Marston. And what folks say? You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick. And fondling that new scar, like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Hey, slow down. Yeah. They're left here, towards Rose. Plus, I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gunner's sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> you know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. Not this oh. again. Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. So, we got the tracks with the wagon, then jump. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast, take charitable donations, and make sure everyone behaves. Little Mr. McGuire, you focus on the baggage car. Grab any valuables you can find. Shoot your mouth. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to die here. Yeah, yeah. Let's get... Yeah. Mr. Marston! Mr. Smith! Mr. McGuire! Yeah. Get over there. When she slows... Order! And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I'll do or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. Here she comes. I'm going aboard. Make that quick and join us on there. Go on! Get on there! Hey! Faster! All yours, Captain. We'll go on ahead. Ah! Everybody stay calm and make sure you get shot! Just go! Everything you got! Money! Valuable! There you go. Let's make this quick, people. Come on. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. Don't do it. Please don't help me. You're getting robbed, mister. I ain't got nothing. Everything you got. Wanna have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? I am adverse to conflict, my dear. Please. I'm not a bad guy. Think we're dying over. Tell him, Mr. Ed. What's the problem here? Don't do this. Je ne peux pas mourir. Come on. In the bag, everything you got. Keep it safe. coming, don't be shy. Just so like you make me sick. Nothing else. You two seem to think make we're playing games. Why do this? Please, don't do anything. 
You want to count to three? One. Deal with these two, will you, Mr. M? Please don't help me. No, you go ahead and look for the baggage car. Reach out. Tough guy, huh? You sure about Why that? Why wasting our time? You huh? show this son of a bitch we ain't playing around here. Deal with this fella, will you? Better than this. Everything you got. Money, valuable. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend. Then. Don't make me hurt you. Put it in Come on, cuff it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's go. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. What is it? You alright? Fill the baggage car. For Christ's sake. You ain't even taking a look yet? Probably something in here, Arthur. Double here. That gives you twice the chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two assholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Horst Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you right away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberals. Then, there's a few more of them torn enough. Damn, my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. He won't tell you again. Come out now. There! Look out on the left! Here come the friends! Fun boys, real. 
cell phone. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. <laughs> Shut up. Please, we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. And you weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Can I get five minutes without a fan badgering me? Hey. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. Hello, chum. Chum? Do you want an autograph or a photograph? I'm sorry? People often get nervous, but there's really no need to. I, I'm just a, just a normal guy who, well, happens to be very famous. Okay. Who are you? Jeremy Gill. Who? The famous fisherman. I've written a lot of books. I'm in the newspaper all the time. Here's one from the New Hanover Gazette from a few years back. And this is a book I wrote. Huh? I wrote it. Good for you. You really don't know who I am? Ah. Well, well. Nice to meet you. You too. Arthur. Sure you don't want a photo? Uh, not right now. Oh. You know, mothers, they often offer me their daughters. Just for a photograph? <laughs> no! To marry. But I say no. I'm married to the fish. Huh. So, you're famous for fishing? Very. And that pays well? Uh, pretty well. What I mostly do is send fans stuffed fish. Stuffed fish? Yeah. Here, let me show you. Come with me. <laughs> and you're selling these? Yes. How many do you want? If you get three, we could do a photograph. Together. Like actual friends. No, I'm fine. It's, it's sort of ridiculous. Listen, jump. People love it. And I could sell even more fish if I add them. <laughs> it helps them to know that out there... There's some man fighting with Neptune on a daily basis and winning. Okay. I can't catch enough of them. And there's really good money in this. I fish a little. You do? Well, in that case, send them to me. Uh, of course, uh, not if they're too rotten. Do you like that bass? I'd sell this for $50. I'd give you 15 Send you fish. Ooh, my card and a map. Well, maybe I shall. <laughs> Only the decent ones. They have to be at least 24 inches in length and 10 pounds in weight. No one wants to imagine Jeremy Gill catching a tiddler. There's no money in tiddlers. So I hear.
thought you was already gone. Tell her. I never stop. Hey, Arthur. Good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, do you? <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. A oh, plan like the Blackwater Ferry job, or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? <laughs> Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen. <laughs> Trying to protect his riding clothes. Well, I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow and lose your head. Yellow? Sure seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time in the strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. You and me? Do a robbery? That's what I said, didn't I? After you. <laughs>
Come on. I know an overlook where we can watch for them coming in. What are you doing anyway, Cam? Camping out here like some crazy hermit. Can't exactly stay in town now, can I? And like I told you, I ain't going back to Dodge without a peace offering. So what's the deal with this coach? What do you mean? Comes through about this time every day, like I said, the end. I mean, how many men, guns, riders? Nothing serious. It'll be fine. I heard the bank's been hiring every trigger man they can get of late. The meaner, the better. You worry too much. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something an old Driscoll told you when you was half drunk in a jail cell. He kept yapping about it, saying how they've been hitting it on the regular. That's a good lead in my book. Damn old Triscolls are everywhere now. Bastards got a hold of most of Big Valley. Heard they took over some big ranch north of here. How the hell you and Lenny end up down here, anyway? Oh, you know how it is. A few loose ends. Drink here, drink there. What loose ends? Nothing that needs to concern you. I always pay my share. It concerns me when you put us in danger and we don't realize till it's too late. Like that move you pulled in Strawberry. Making me kill half the town just for your precious guns. Precious they are. You need to roll a little looser, Morgan. Looser? I seen you come full undone more than once now, and you only been running with us a few months. Are we gonna rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. Guess we're robbing it. Then let's do it. All right, this is the spot. Hold up on this ridge. Should be here in a little bit. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Well, just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. <sighs> they should be here any minute. <clears throat> Look, there they are. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on! <laughs> Ride! This is a robbery! Stop that coach right now! What in the hell? Guns up, we got company.
covered now. It's just you and me, sweetheart. I'll give it to them. They put up half a fight at least. Yeah! Baylock! Come on, boy! Hmm. Here. Find new rifle, too. Here you go, Arthur. From me to you. That's more your style than mine. What did I tell you? Like licking butter off a knife. Something like that. You don't want to just break it open here and be done with it? Could be more than we can carry. And there might be a second crew of riders tailing. All right, then. Not to mention, we ride back in with a big tank and a new wagon to boot. Dutch can't say we ain't pulling our weight no more, can he? I ain't sure I trust shit. Now we're being robbed. Get across the river. <laughs> job I do with you ends in a pile of dead bodies. Since when did you have a problem killing O'Driscoll's? Huh, huh. You've got a point. Let's strip this coach then. It clearly ain't going nowhere now. You know, we should really pick up a lock breaker one of these days. Save ourselves some bullets. Yeah, because saving bullets is such a concern of yours. Hey, that should do it. Come on, let's see if all this was worth All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. What's the cut here? It's good. Just make sure the gang gets its piece. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow, tiny tree. And like I said, that still don't mean nothing. Now, get out of here. Go see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun.
Not again. There, girl. Hey there. How's it going? Well, it ain't going at all. We're broke. We're about ready to call it quits, to be honest with you. Listen, I... I, I, I hate to ask, but, but uh, is, is there any way that you could help us get the supplies that we need to finish? All right. Here you go. But you best not be playing me for a fool. Oh, I ain't, mister. I swear. I'm done with this. Looks like you're almost done. I sure hope so. God, I can't wait to get out of here. Yep. Yep. Idiot. Problem here. Pretty nice out, huh? Sure. Yeah. There, girl. Yeah. There we go. So, feeling better? How's the scar? I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about, or you got any leads? I got something. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now? Maybe. Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting. That might work for Dutch, but for you? It just makes you look stupid. Come along. You'll see. That train job was a start, but we need more money. You coming? 